Welcome to WISIS Forum 2022 here in Geneva. And with me is uh, Dr. Noah Law, who is Vice President, Standards and Industry of Huawei Technologies. Welcome. Very pleased to have you here. Um, uh, Dr. Law, the, um, the theme of this year's uh, forum is well-being, inclusion, and resilience. And I know that's, that's a theme that Huawei support very strongly. For us, uh, I mentioned the, uh, yesterday, and one of the sessions for partners, uh, we uh, try to emphasize Huawei support for this kind of uh, uh, digital inclusion, uh, resilience, and also well-being. Um, our vision and mission from company uh, since several years ago has been fixed to such a sentence. So uh, bring digital to every person, home, organization for a fully connected digital intelligent world. So we are just uh, trying to carry out this vision and mission together with a partner around the world. This is just one example. So we are uh, covering all other areas, uh, like uh, another example is uh, about diversity. Mm -hmm. I use another set of uh, statistics. So over uh, 32 natural reserve regions from up to 25 countries are smallized uh, using uh, Huawei uh, technologies. Uh, they use them, um, for example, IoT, uh, 5G, 4G uh, to track the animals and the plants, and also uh, that all together will help to add up to the overall improvement in uh, biodiversity for better uh, Mother Earth for our planet. So this is on, on nature reserves. They're using this 5G technology to actually track endangered species. Yes, this can be one of the uh, applications. Uh, we have a big team. Uh, they are in general known as Tech for All, T E C H 4, number 4, all. So it's a short acronym of uh, Technology for All. And this, um, I mean, uh, collect name, we have a lot of uh, actions, operations, initiative, but not alone. We work together uh, with our partners. So I uh, think uh, tracking. Uh, endangered species, just one of the typical exam uh, yeah. example and application. So it's not just the human species that you're trying to get connected, it's uh, it's other types of species on the planet as well. Yeah, that's yeah. of course. I think uh, well-being, um, uh, inclusion mm -hmm. and the resilience, of course, the first step is to try to satisfy the needs for all the humanity for mm -hmm. such three big things, but also we extended our technology, the power, uh, try to benefit all other species on all other forms of lives on the planet. So, mm. because and, and you talked at the opening um, sessions about the importance of capacity building. What does what does that mean? Uh, capacity building is uh, very important um, because we have uh, interaction, we have contacts with people uh, from different regions, I think the uh, development of uh, capacity uh, building and skills are highly uneven, highly unbalanced. For those are uh, in bad needs of uh, this kind of uh, facilities and the training uh, resource, they need to have a, they deserve a right to to have a easier, more affordable access to such a, a facility resource. I uh, will be very happy to um, help this process. Uh, this is from Huawei point of view, and uh, from ITU point of view, you know, I'm also chairing Startup 16 and the ITU T, uh, T sector. Uh, we are also trying to carry out some uh, practice to help people uh, from different uh, area, different regions. We are doing multimedia based digital technology, uh, digital service. So it's a large class of uh, technology that will uh, potentially uh, have people in their learning process, in their training process. And uh, also, I think we are making some uh, efforts in those areas as well. So not only from Huawei. Anyway, Huawei is just only a part, a fraction of the uh, global efforts. Thank you very much indeed for speaking with us, Dr. Noah Loa. Thank you very much.